we're going to take a look at installing the ACS AEM Commons project onto AEM 5.6 or above. Um, so I pulled up the ACS AEM Commons project. Uh, this is an open source project hosted on GitHub. Uh, it has a number of really excellent features. Um, these are typically things that uh, you run into on projects. Um, and uh, you know, as you do multiple AEM implementations, you continue to kind of reinvent the wheel on these things uh, project to project. So these are these common features um, and APIs and toolkits and utils pulled out uh, into a very unobtrusive uh, project that you can install and reuse uh, across AEM, AEM projects. So it has a, a number of really great features. Uh, highly encourage you to check it out. Um, there's always new features being added. Uh, but we're, what we're going to do is just uh, show you how to install this onto AEM. So there's two ways to do it. The first way is uh, to actually download the GitHub release uh, of the package. Um, this is actually going to download a normal CQ uh, package that you can install via Package Manager. Uh, so I'm going to jump to Package Manager. All I have to do is to upload and select it. And then I can just go ahead and upload it like I would any other package. Uh, and here it is, it shows up. I would then just install it uh, and I'd have access to all of the, uh, the features um, within this project. Uh, one thing to note is in order to use features, you typically have to enable them first. Um, this project likes to get out of your way and be very unobtrusive and only um, enable features that you've specifically enabled in your project. So you're not, uh, you don't install it and then all of a sudden have all this new functionality that you're, you might not be expecting. Uh, there is a better way of installing this and, and putting it into your project, and that's what we're going to take a look at now. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this out of CRX for now. And if we come back to the project homepage, uh, there's actually a section here under how to use it, um, and we're going to be adding it as a sub package to Maven. I'm going to click on the details. It's actually very straightforward. Um, we just need to add two line, or two sections to our content pom.xml. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the dependency for this package. And we're going to be adding it to the dependencies of our content uh, pom.xml. So let me scroll down and find our dependency section right here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. Uh, the next thing we want to do is update the configuration for the content package maven plugin. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. And jump back here. And let's see, content package maven plugin. And we're just adding um, something to the configuration uh, section here. So I just added it right to the bottom. And that's all we need to do. Next thing is just re uh, build this project uh, and deploy it into AEM. So I've just made sure that, that auto install package is enabled in my profile. And I'm just building the entire package. This is the, the parent reactor project. And it goes through, builds the package and installs. And if I go back to Package Manager and refresh, you'll actually see that I do have the ACS AM Commons content package 1.4.0, as well as my uh, AMCast demo content package. So now I've successfully installed this and I'll be in great position to start leveraging features.